kill the past and let it die. That's what they told us. Because the geniuses at Disney and Lucasfilm thought they didn't need the past anymore. Thought they could just take everything that people loved about the original Star Wars trilogy and even the prequels and shit all over it and throw it away. Thought they could crap all over the legacy characters, turn Han Solo into a deadbeat dad, turn Luke Skywalker into a cowardly deserter who completely failed to bring back the Jedi Order. And then we're gonna kill them off without even reuniting the original trio first because we need to kill the past. Because the past doesn't matter anymore. Because now we got our awesome new characters and fans are just gonna fall in love with them and flock to the movie theaters to see Mary Sue Ray and SJW Rose Tico and all those other clowns. And then The Last Jedi happens and breaks the fandom. And then Ryan Johnson starts taunting and trolling fans on social media. And then everyone who didn't like The Last Jedi is written off as a sexist man baby. And then the Rose Tico action figures just sit on the shelves gathering dust. And then Solo crashes and burns. And then Galaxy's Edge underperforms. And then, and then, and then. Shock of all shocks, it turns out that the fans really like the past. And they didn't appreciate being written off and trivialized on social media. And they're not on board with Kathleen Kennedy's vision for what Star Wars should be. So now that we need to make money off it, because all those sexist man babies don't like our garbage new characters, we're going to bring the past back and we're going to rely totally on nostalgia and we're going to put Luke in the trailer like he's still really important even though we had no problem committing character assassination on him in the last movie. And we're going to bring back Lando and put him in the Millennium Falcon again. And we're going to put Palpatine front and center on the poster for the rise of skywalker but no kill the past right let it die because the past doesn't matter unless we need it to make money then it matters gee i can't imagine why there's so much discontent in the star wars fandom right now i really can't I haven't watched this D23 sneak peek yet but my prediction is that there's going to be more nostalgia in it than new stuff because that's the only thing they can bank on to sell episode 9 at this point you think I'm going to pay for a movie ticket to see if Mary Sue Ray and Kylo Ren finally kiss? Bitch, please. So let's take a look. Hey, look! It's Luke before he tried to murder his nephew in his sleep. And there's Han, before he was a deadbeat dad. And, and look, there's Leia, before Carrie Poppins was a thing. Here's all that stuff you liked, before we told you to kill it and let it die. All those stories that weren't supposed to matter anymore. Mm-hmm. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations. Yeah, so Rey is now a fully formed Jedi, even though she never got trained at all. Yeah, that makes sense. This is your fight. Creepio has red eyes. Your journey. First he had a red arm, now he has red eyes. Okay, whatever. Yes, it's him. Were they using the Vader sound effect? The Vader breathing? Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta throw that in there too, of course. <laughs> so we got we gotta use Palpatine and we gotta use the Vader stuff too. Anything to keep us from relying on the new stuff, right? The new characters. My thoughts are that the cinematography looks very pretty, but otherwise, there's a whole lot of stuff here that I just don't care about. I might have cared about it if Lucasfilm hadn't shit the bed with this franchise so much starting with The Last Jedi, but they did, and now I just don't feel excited for this thing at all. 
because Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson and Lucasfilm told me that all the stuff that I loved about Star Wars didn't matter anymore. Until suddenly it does again because they want to make money. Too little, too late, assholes. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Literally the first half of this thing is just reminding people about how great Star Wars used to be before Lucasfilm ruined it. Here's the new trio. And how sad is it that it's part three, the final leg of the sequel trilogy, and this is the first time that we've seen these characters all together? I'm sorry, but we're way past that meaning anything at this point. And here's an unused shot of Leia from The Force Awakens. This just makes me sad. Big space battle about to happen. It all looks very pretty, but how are there even this many Resistance members now? I thought they were almost all wiped out in The Last Jedi. I guess that's something that Ryan Johnson didn't really consider when he wrote that piece of shit. So now it's just more discontinuity in a sequel trilogy full of it. Huzzah. We got a new character here. Don't know who she is. I think she's rumored to be Lando's daughter or something. Because fans didn't like Rose Tico, so now we gotta try again with another new character. If she's connected to Lando, I might give her a shot. But if they're just gonna shove Lando aside and tell us how awful he is and how much better this new girl is by comparison, then... No, thank you. C-3PO with red eyes. What is this? You gave him a red arm for some reason in The Force Awakens. Then the red arm is just magically gone in The Last Jedi. That never gets explained. Now he's got red eyes. So we're taking the most innocent character in the whole saga and making him look evil. Evil 3PO. Ooh. Maybe explain the red arm before you start giving him new red body parts. And not in some comic book tie-in that nobody's gonna read either. I mean, in the actual movie. We've got Rey versus Kylo Ren again. And I don't know why we should care about that because we already saw Rey fight Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens and Rey beat him. So what? Now they're just gonna fight again? Nothing has changed. Kylo Ren's training is still incomplete. Rey is still an untrained Mary Sue character. It's the same thing, just in a different place. This here, this is the one thing in the trailer that's actually kind of cool. Rey with a saber staff. Finally. This is something I was anticipating since The Force Awakens, because in that movie, she had a staff. Just a normal staff, but it's reasonable that she would have learned to fight with it for self-defense. So that could then translate into her using a Jedi saber staff in the future, and that would have made sense. But then they just gave her a normal lightsaber. And then she just magically knows how to fight with it, even though she never trained with a lightsaber at all. But now she's got a saber staff. Okay. Okay. But where was that in episode 8? Oh, but the staff is red and Rey looks evil. So could Mary Sue Rey turn to the dark side? Probably not. Because... Rey is going to have to rebuild the Jedi Order, because God forbid Luke Skywalker be the one to do that, right? No, 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 it's going to have to be Rey, because she's the only Jedi left, and they've made Kylo Ren pretty irredeemable, so he can't do it. So Rey will flirt with the dark side, but not give in to it, and then she'll defeat Palpatine, or maybe she'll redeem Kylo Ren at the last moment, and then he'll kill Palpatine and then die himself, because we have to steal from the original trilogy as much as possible, because we need to make money off it, so it matters again. But kill the past, right? Let it die? Yeah. This all looks very safe. J.J. is definitely veering away from The Last Jedi as much as possible, trying not to do anything offensive here. But you can just feel the desperation in this thing. They're piling on the nostalgia to try to bring the fans back. But Lucasfilm has already done so much to drive those fans away, I don't know if they're coming back. It would not surprise me whatsoever if this was the lowest grossing film in the sequel trilogy, no matter how good or bad it is. If I end up seeing The Rise of Skywalker even once, it's gonna be just to get it over with. I feel like J.J. Abrams is probably gonna try to fix as much of this mess as he can, but there's only so much that can be fixed. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and follow me on Twitter using the link in the description box so you'll always be notified about new videos, and I'll be back soon. See you later.